is going on YouTube? It's of course Alexandros guys back again with another banger. Today we're reviewing Gem Hub guys, easy accessible blockchain game, investing simplified, Gem Hub 2.0. Uh, really interesting platform guys and uh, I'm actually pretty excited to show you this one. They also have a trading competition uh, which is still going on, I'll discuss it in a second. Uh, before we start with the video as always I need to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor, you should always do your own research and you should always do your own due diligence because I don't take any responsibility for your actions. And with that being said, we can actually dive right into it. So uh, another thing that I quickly want to uh, to tell you, <laughs> I hope that you guys will excuse my voice. Um, I'm a little bit sick as you can hear, so yeah, I hope it's not that big of a deal. Uh, anyways, this video could be quite long. Uh, there is a lot of info to share with you today, so I hope that you'll stay till the end, watch the whole thing, uh, because uh, the project, the platform itself is uh, really groundbreaking, so so yeah, maybe first of all we will start with the trading competition actually, uh, it is on LBank, so um, basically you can trade GHUB to share 13,293 GHUB tokens, as you can see one of them is currently at about 30 cents, uh, that is uh, quite a dip from 36 cents down to uh, 29, so you can potentially pick some of these uh, for a nice little discount uh, right now. Uh, the volume is just 47,000, uh, it's freshly listed so it is understandable. Uh, and if you are not into centralized exchanges, they are also on ClaySwap uh, and they have much bigger volume here uh, because it's 110,000. So if you want to buy from like um, ClaySwap, then you can also go ahead and, and do so. So it's uh, really up to you. However, when it comes to the trading competition, obviously it is better to trade here. So uh, all qualified users based on trading volume can share 13,293 GHUB. That is 20% uh, of the total prices uh, for the first um, first person, the, the best one, and it is 5,000 in GHUB. Then the second one is uh, $2,000 uh, in GHUB. Third is 1,000. Then number four to number 10 is 700 each. Uh, 11th to 15th is 500. And then uh, that is also the participation price, so share 38% of the total prizes, which is 200 in GHUB, so kinda cool. Uh, that is also second activity, new users can register and trade and win a share of 5000 GHUB, so new users who will register on LBank account, uh, complete KYC verification and make no less than $50 spot trading volume can receive 100 GHUB each, and this is first come first served, uh, so I'm not sure uh, if it's still available. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is also pretty pretty cool if you think about it. Uh, by trading GHUB users are also automatically enrolled into the trading competitions. You will be ranked in terms of the total GHUB volume. Uh, all the rewards will be sent within 10 business days, so it is not including like national holidays and weekends obviously, uh, after the competition is concluded. Uh, all trades that they deem to be wash trades, they, no, they will not be counted, so no cheating obviously. Uh, and users who use multiple accounts to participate in the activity will not be qualified and LBank reserves the right to cancel or amend the competition or competition rules at uh, the sole uh, discretion. So also letting you know about that for the full transparency. So GHUB guys, GHUB coins with good results among play to earn projects launched in 2022. Play to earn project with steady game releases and they are actually working uh, really hard and nice on those uh, game releases which we will also check out on um on the play to earn tracker and uh, you will be definitely surprised by that so let's play let's grow the most convenient and fun blockchain gaming platform so what is this platform you i ask first of all when the game is released in-game token released in jhub gem hub defi uh, deposit pool is distributed as an airdrop so it is clay swap pool or its own pool that is the structure the more games are released the more amount of token airdrops from the defi pool is uh, increased as well so unlike you know for example Wemix or bora Gem Hub actually issues separate token for each game rather than a sub-private structure and it can be traded freely in external DEXs, so that's pretty nice. Uh, they also have a full uh, white paper which I need to uh, find to pull up. Um, it is right here and they also have like the whole technology explained right here, okay? Uh, you have like the whole overview uh, and you can essentially like check how uh, each of these things uh, work. So you have for example the structure and you can check out the whole structure, how the distribution works uh, and all of that. It is pretty nicely explained uh, in the technical way, but uh, everyone will be able to understand it after reading that. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of white papers done in uh, done on Gitbook because they are super transparent and easy to read through. So obviously uh, I really show a big appreciation for that. 
Uh, so that's how it looks like. And then uh, going further, we have um, the BMP BPMG, the developer and operator of Jamhub. So the project started by former Bora Network CEO, uh, Cha Jing Hoon. I hope that I pronounced it right. If not, then I'm really sorry for that. Uh, and former Bora team members are also participating together. So we have a really experienced team behind this. Uh, in addition to play to earn led by big game enterprises such as WeMate or we, or, or of WeMix and uh, Netmarble of Marblex, there are also projects making various attempts where Jamhub is helping small and medium sized game companies enter the play to earn market, which is also really nice for them. And obviously they are doing all the quality checks and all of that. So even in the bear market guys, where play to earn coins such as WeMix, Bora and MBX showed a huge decrease, Jhub coin proved great defense by maintaining the initial auction swap sale price of 400 uh, Korean won. Uh, so yeah, they are doing pretty well when it comes to that. Uh, main strength of the project are definitely the investment partners, uh, expectations for the upcoming and future game lineups, as well as they are connected with multi-chain wallet app called Kmint, which I will also show you later in the video. Um, so starting with the partners, maybe they also have this roadmap here, obviously we'll go through all of that. Uh, they have some huge partnerships, right? Uh, although they are not like subordinate to big partners, Jamhub has attracted investments from medium sized and subsidiaries of large corporations and they also have been steadily expanding its partners over the past years. So when it comes to investors, they have a mega zone which is unicorn company at the best AWS vendor in Korea. They also have ITC Yen, uh, Q listed company as the gold exchange and various IT affiliated subsidiaries, as well as VP. Uh, which is uh, a subs, uh, subsidiary of KT. Uh, they also owns uh, Huhu App and a financial PG company. When it comes to partners, they have, for example, Baronson Labs, Galaxia Metaverse, Ozis, which you probably know and heard about. They are a big blockchain company. Uh, they are famous for PlaySwap. Um, they have Gala Lab, uh, Rayon Entertainment, um, and many, many more. If I was to explain like all of these uh, companies and what they do, it it would take like ages. So if you want to check out like each particular one, then you can also go ahead and do so. Uh, but yeah, trust me, guys. Huge partnerships, huge investors. Uh, even though they don't explain them as that huge, they are huge. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's jump into the games actually. So when it comes to the game lineups, the games were released a bit late last year due to the ba bad market conditions, which is truly understandable, but the game is being released steadily. So looking forward to more uh, releases in the future. There are a total five games that have been released so far. Uh, you have Seed Eternal, uh, Giant N, Aquapunk, Zombinoid uh, and Number Shoot. And there are some games that are scheduled to release, games that have secured a large pool of global users such as Rapples Universe, Fluff Universe and Ghost War that are waiting to be released. Uh, they have an article on that which I will link down below in the description and you can actually go ahead and read through it if you want. Um, for more information regarding the games that they currently have, uh, you can hit this button right here, it will redirect you to Medium about each of these games. So for example you have Seed Eternal, boom, hit that. Uh, and then you are redirected. You have Giant N, boom, hit that, you have a whole medium dedicated to Giant N. So that's pretty, pretty cool. When it comes to the performance of these games, uh, Gemhub has actually uh, ha has the games related in Clayton Chain that are showing really good results, as I said before, and multiple lineups included in game ranking are on play2n.net. Uh, so we have number shoots, zombie night, essentially all of them. So enough talking, let's show you the results. So here is play to earn, as you can see blockchain games, uh, we are on Clayton uh, blockchain, boom, right there. Uh, all Jinner and they are all free to play. So <laughs> number one is actually number shoot, as you can see, all right? Then number two is the Aquapunk. And uh, then you also have Giant N. So as you can see, they are securing some huge, 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 absolutely huge numbers right here. And you can see that these games are still growing, okay? You can check out the social and everything. So. It is absolutely lovely to see that they are performing so well. They are also linked to Kmint, which is an all-in-one crypto wallet of them. If you go into this like burger icon, you can actually go ahead and check out the Kmint wallet and it will redirect you to the Google Play. So through Kmint app developed by BPMG, which is the Gemhub developer obviously, users could easily integrate and manage cryptocurrencies, assets of various mainnets such as Ethereum, Clayton and Polygon, conveniently use many DeFi services through the app as well, it is highly scalable and convenient compared to other projects. 
so what is good with this wallet what makes it better uh, definitely the multi-chain support which you can see right here uh, it supports Clayton, Ethereum, Binance, Polygon chains so there is no need to separate wallets into multiple ones because multiple chains can be used with this one uh, they also have this mini app various DeFi uh, services available directly within the app without a separate wallet connection uh, as well uh, so that is pretty pretty cool as you can see and users can also register your wallet using the syntax of metamask and kaikas that originally used in particular it's very convenient to use various sites that are linked in metamask and kaikas as a mini map, mini app uh, on the mobile it has 10,000 plus downloads you can go ahead and read the opinions if you want uh, and check it out as well uh, let's check out the gem hubs uh, medium so we can uh, also have a look at um, we can also have a look at uh, some of their future plans so for example let's jump into the uh, roadmap they have had an update right here uh, which is pretty cool uh, so GemHub is basically planning to support multi-chain and increase game supporting mainnets through GemHub 2.0 and are also preparing many activities such as token swap service, NFT transaction and protocol updates. So a lot of interests are being gathered to this platform as it is preparing for an IPO during the first quarter of 2023. Uh, so that's pretty nice, you can also check out uh, all of the things that they are working on as you guys can see. Um, they have some major uh, major news uh, that are posted here in the roadmap uh, and if you want you can go ahead and also check it out by yourself uh, i will talk about the most important things in my opinion there is also the roadmap on uh, the website by the way uh, so first of all they have the multi-chain support uh, jump hub which started on clayton chain will expand to three chains and these chains will be ethereum polygon and the clayton that they are currently on so in order to support games and contests of various chains other than Clayton, they plan to support multi-chain. And the concept of moving GemHub of Clayton chain to Ethereum and Polygon through the bridge without issuing additional coins. The total supply of GHub issuance across multi-chain stays constant. So that's good and it will probably... Um, be because of that it should avoid any sort of like inflation, right? So that's good, obviously. We don't want inflation. <laughs> so they also have this game token swap service. They are planning to prepare a swap service using GHub as a key token. Not only GHub and in-game tokens, also all tokens in partnership with GemHub are listed and able to be swapped. NFT trading function using GHub as a payment method is also included. Protocol update as well. Uh, they will define the initial stage of in-game tokens issued through GemHub protocol as incubating tokens, support services related to in-game tokens and many many more. Also the independence of in-game tokens will be uh, determined through DAO governance, so you will also have like active part uh, of the project. So obviously coming with that is the DAO governance itself, they plan to introduce DAO governance function that allows the community to vote on the agenda collected by the team and community and DAO voting will be implemented as a smart contract until the agenda is listed and approved. Uh, they are also working on GemHub power system, uh, they plan to end current staking service and introduce the GemHub power system uh, which is, will be the, the basically GemHub power is granted by staking GHub and GemHub power is recharged over a period of time after use. So GemHub power will be essentially used in various places such as game token swap fee, exemption and also many many more. Um, so that's it. Uh, they are also working on expansion with uh, the game itself, game business and partner expansions. Uh, they have many lineups, many games upcoming. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. So starting with Seed Eternal in 2022, Aquapunk and Giant End were also released. And while achieving good results, they are also accumulating data that can be upgraded and confirmed the pros and cons of introducing different tokenomics for each game. Uh, so let's talk about all of these lineups, guys. Uh, so when it comes to them, there is this Seed Eternal, obviously, Giant's End, Aquapunk, Rapples Universe, Zombinoid, Fluffy Universe, Jelly Go Dash, um, and Heroes 9. So introduced as scheduled for release will be released continuously and new partner game companies and games with a target of release in 2023. Our lineup is also being prepared for that. So they are doing some huge, huge moves, absolutely huge moves. Uh, and I really, really love that. Uh, so what are the main strengths of these projects? Definitely the expectations for the upcoming and future game lineups, right? They are also connected with multi-chain wallet, uh, which is this um, Kmint wallet. Obviously all the links will be plugged down below uh, in the description as always. They are huge in the rankings as well. Uh, the token is maintaining a good value and good price even though we are on the bear market and you can pick it up uh, for a cheaper price as well. So, so the platform itself 
is really really groundbreaking in my opinion really revolutionary uh, so uh, that's pretty pretty fine uh, white paper will also be linked they also have the app as you can see uh, where you can go ahead and stake the TVL is huge seven million dollars as you can see uh, you can also deposit to the pools uh, if you are more into that uh, if you are more into LP uh, they offer really good uh, staking KPRs as you can see you have the challenge staking uh, so basically it operates still uh, and uh, it is 7.5% or you have the 365 uh, so it is obviously uh, as you can see locked up and it is 30% so it's up to you whichever you prefer uh, so that would be it guys if you want to check out gem hub and if you want to check out their wallet and all the games you can go ahead the links will be down below in the description you can also go ahead and follow them on telegram uh, integrate with their amazing community go ahead check out their medium as well as check them out on twitter where they are super active posting all the news as you can see uh, informations about the competitions and all the good stuff guys uh, <coughs> excuse me so yeah that will be it for today all the links down below as i said thank you so much for watching this video thank you for sticking till the end uh it's been a long video 16 minutes in fact so uh we will be ending this here guys thanks again and i'm out